The cryptocurrency market cap has finally reclaimed the $1 trillion mark, with both majors and altcoins recovering significantly in recent weeks. So what do the recoveries mean for the Layer 2 ecosystems, and what are the hottest opportunities on optimism? Thanks to MetaMask Learn for sponsoring this video, Learn Web3 with the leading Web3 wallet. So let's start with a 20 second recap. Layer 2s have been rising in popularity. In fact, they are the future of Ethereum scaling solutions. Layer 2s like Optimism help Ethereum by processing transactions on their own blockchain before posting them onto the Ethereum mainnet in batches. They do this faster, with lower fees and without sacrificing on security. So that's why we're diving into the Optimism ecosystem, the second largest among L2 blockchains and the largest ecosystem with a native token. And just quickly before we do that, there are many more DeFi opportunities that we'll be detailing in the coming weeks. So let us know in the comments which categories or protocols you want to learn more about and hit the subscribe button to get notified when we release them. All right, let's talk about Optimism, the number two layer two protocol right behind Arbitrum. And by the way, we covered Arbitrum in last week's video. So check that out to learn about yield and staking opportunities that we shared with you. So where is the liquidity in Optimism and how are investors using its offerings to make returns? Most of the liquidity on Optimism is in its decentralized exchanges, the most popular of which is found only on Optimism. Velodrome is the single largest protocol on that chain by total value locked or TVL sitting at $170 million. Now, according to DeFi Llama, the APY across Velodrome's many liquidity pools varies widely from less than 1% to 280%. Curve and Uniswap, the market leaders on Ethereum, come in second and third place on Optimism respectively. Before we carry on with Optimism, a quick word from MetaMask. MetaMask Learn is an educational platform designed to immerse you in the world of Web3, what it is, why it matters, and how to get started. You'll learn core concepts in fresh and engaging lessons from the world's leading self-custodial wallet. MetaMask Learn is for you if you've been interested in Web3 but just don't know where to start, if you've bought some crypto on an exchange but don't know what to do with it, and if you still don't understand Web3 principles because they've been too jargon heavy, and if you want to know what the fuss about Web3 really is. Now back to layer two opportunities. Lending protocols on Optimism collectively make up the second largest source of network liquidity and opportunity. As on Ethereum, the largest protocol here is Aave. Its major competitor is Sona Finance, which is another Optimism exclusive. And there are several other protocols in the category, but they're much, much smaller, with TVL measured in the single digit millions rather than the tens or hundreds of millions. So relative to DEXs, APY here is modest, with the most lucrative opportunity netting a 36% annual return, most other pools offering far less. The second largest protocol on Optimism is in a category it has all to itself, for the most part. Synthetics is, as you guessed it, a synthetics protocol. As explained by defiant contributor Rahul Nambiampurath, it tokenizes underlying real world and crypto assets, and it then issues them as a derivative or synthetic asset. Those are the blockchain's version of traditional derivatives called synthetic assets or synths. Now with synths, investors can trade with commodities or fiat money, indexes, and cryptocurrencies. As such, synths are displayed as derivatives with an S prefix. To be clear though, unlike other digital assets that are backed by real assets, synths are not. For instance, Pax Gold is an ERC20 stablecoin backed by gold on a one-to-one -one basis, such that Pax G is worth one troy ounce of gold. It's stored in a London security vault. Now, because of this relationship, Pax G holders own the underlying asset they can redeem. This is not the case with a synth like SXAU, which represents gold. As a blockchain-based derivative, SXAU is simply a tokenized financial contract which offers exposure to the price of gold. Perpetual Protocol is another big one found only on Optimism. A perpetual futures exchange, it allows users to create derivatives that behave like futures contracts without expiry. Synthetics launched a new iteration of its own perps protocol back in December, and in an interview with The Defiant, a core contributor, Mike Griffith, explain why they're so popular on L2s. He said, we can't really do perps on layer one, adding that the fees would be prohibitive to all but the deepest pockets, 
and that the user experience would also suffer. And what about other protocols? Crypto indices are also popular on Optimism, with a combined $33 million in crypto locked in the two largest, DHedge and Toros. Popular in the yield category are Arrakis Finance, USD Plus and Homora. There's also a trio of options exchanges called Lyra, Premier and Polynomial. APYs on Lyra and Premier range from 15% to 55%. And as we mentioned last time around, yield hunting can be exhausting. That's where yield aggregators such as Beefy Finance come in. They automate the process of tapping into high yield strategies, saving the users time. Please remember, this is not financial advice. When you're looking where to park your money, you've got to exercise caution and conduct your own research and due diligence. Again, please consider factors such as a project's development roadmap, the team and overall market conditions before making any decisions. A month in crypto can feel like a year in the world of traditional finance, such as the speed with which things move. It is volatile. Never risk the money that you can't afford to lose. And with that, thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video.